Hi there, this is Judy with TravelTrailSale.com and I'm here today to share with you one of the most versatile and portable pieces of personal fitness equipment that's out there, in, in my opinion, and that's the kettlebell. I've been using a kettlebell for quite a few years in different gyms that I've been to and I've had to kind of look at more options of how to use the kettlebell at home or on the go um, as my gym that I went to closed about a year ago. So I went on different websites, different resources, found all kinds of movements out there for the kettlebell. And I just want to share with you five basic movements to show you what a good workout you can get with the kettlebell. If you have any shoulder issues, knee issues, back issues, please check with your physician first. I'm not an expert in this. This is just something I'm sharing with you, what I've learned over the years. Um, I would also recommend that you do a lot of research online about the different movements. And thirdly, I would also recommend just starting with a real light weight. And as you get more comfortable with the movements, then moving up to heavier weights or more repetitions. What I have here is a 20 pound kettlebell. The first movement I want to show you is called a strict press. For this movement, you want to make sure your shoulders are nice and pulled back, your back is straight, your feet are fairly close together, not too close, your thighs are nice and tight and you're digging your heels into the ground to kind of ground you and help you push this weight overhead. And what you're going to do is exactly that, just um, holding the kettlebell, push it straight up, arm straight, elbow by your ear, and then bring it back down. It should always be a controlled movement. Again, your back should be nice and straight. Don't arch your back. Keep your belly tight, thighs tight, and it'll be a great workout for your arms. So with the kettlebell, this is what it would look like. Straight up and down. And then the other side, same thing. Straight up, legs are straight, thighs are tight, tummy's tucked in, and down. And you can pick however many reps you want to do of each movement. You may want to start off with just a few reps per arm until you get used to it. A second arm movement that you can do is called a bent over row. And for this, you want to kind of hinge at the hips, back is straight. Your kettlebell is down, your arm is straight, and you'll want to just pull it back, keeping your elbow close to your body and down. You can have a slight bend in the knees, but it's really important to keep your back straight and with these arm movements, keeping your shoulders back like that. The third movement I'd like to show you with the kettlebell, and this is one of probably my all-time favorites because it is truly a total body workout and after a few reps of these you will feel it no doubt and that's called the kettlebell swing I'm gonna demo that without the kettlebell right now because there are quite a few moving parts with this so you'll definitely want to practice this with a light weight your uh, feet are fairly wide apart not too wide you're gonna have your you're gonna tighten your thighs and what you're going to do with the kettlebell is kind of hinge at the hip, bend your knees slightly, and using the force from your thighs and your hips, that force there, you're going to move that weight overhead and then back down. And it's going to look like that. The important thing is that you're using your thighs and your hips to give you that momentum to move that weight. Don't arch your back, keep it nice and straight, belly tight, and always have control of that weight. So it's gonna look something like this. Again, shoulders are back. Hinge at the hip, bend the knees a little bit, and use that energy from your thighs and hips to move that weight up. One of my favorite, favorite all-time movements. The fourth movement I like to show you with the kettlebell involves squats. First I want to just go over a few things with the basic squat before we add the kettlebell. 
couple of things you want to be careful of. Very important that you do not bend your knees forward so that they're over your toes. Like that. You do not want to do that. The other thing you do not want to do is cave your knees in. So when you go down, you want to push your knees out and keep them out when you come back up. You do not want to cave in when you come up because that could cause some, again, knee injuries and knee problems. So what you want to do is pretend like you're sitting back in a chair. You push your butt back. <laughs> keep your knees behind your toes, knees pushed out, and your weight should be in your heels. You should be able to kind of pull your toes up and the weight should be in your heel. So it would look like something like this and up. So you may want to practice just the basic squat first before you add a kettlebell to it. When you, a couple of options to add a kettlebell to a squat. You can hold it up to your chest just like this. And this is called a goblet squat. Again, feet kind of, kind of wide, not too wide. Weight in your heels, butt back, knees out, and up. And when you come up, you kind of squeeze your thighs. And if you want to make it even more fun, you can push this kettlebell overhead when you come up from the squat. So that would look something like this and up. And that will give you a great workout. <laughs> okay, the fifth and last movement I'd like to show you today is a lunge. And you can add a kettlebell to this. Just like the squat though, I'd like to just go over a few basics of the lunge movement itself. Um, when you lunge, you want to make sure and when you step out and down, that your knee, your front knee is at a 90 degree angle. It's not forward or back. It's nice at a nice 90 degree angle. And when you come up, you're pushing from your heel and your back leg, okay? Real important to protect those knees. So to add a kettlebell to it, very similar to a squat, you would hold it at your chest and again, you would just hold it here as you lunge. You can do what they call a walking lunge. Like this. That's one of my favorites. And if you really want to get spicy with this, as they say, when you do the lunge, you can hold it overhead while you do your lunge. And this is very tricky. Um, and then, of course, you would do each side. The important thing with that is to keep your arms straight. Again, shoulders back, back nice and straight as you lunge. And your knee is always at that 90 degree angle. I hope you enjoyed this video and overview of just some basic movements you can do with a kettlebell. There's a lot of options out there. This is just a very small sample of what you can do with a kettlebell. I encourage you to go out there and do some research, um, try out different movements, and always remember to kind of start off slowly and lightly and then work your way up to more weight or more repetitions. If you'd like to learn more, please check us out at traveltrailsale.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.